Jumpy jump jump jump. Self-portraits pie. As soon as we finish putting up the welcome parents banner, I think we're done. We have to make this the most perfect open house ever. Know why? You've only told us about 300 times. Your dad's coming. Oh, I cannot wait for you to meet him, Harvey. He's so funny and smart, and he's really handsome. I'm sure your dad's a great guy, Sabrina. After all, he's like your dad. He's like the best and I'm going to have him all to myself for three whole days. Sabrina! Whoa! Right now I don't want to have this ladder all to myself, okay? Oops, sorry. Sabrina, I've been looking all over for you. Major news flash. Mrs. Bleatstain named you and Harvey as this year's host and hostess of Open House. Harvey, isn't this wild? <gasps> yeah, extremely. I'm the official hostess of the Open House, and my dad's going to be here. Oh, this is too perfect. Your dad sounds so cool. I'm looking forward to you and me spending some time hanging out with him. Sorry, Chloe. I've got him booked. We're going to spend every minute together, just the two of us. Yeah? Well, like, did you ever think that your dad might also enjoy doing stuff with other people while he's in town? No. Huh? <laughs> No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have no interest in piloting the first manned space flight to Mars. It wouldn't be anywhere near as exciting as being with my darling daughter, Sabrina. <laughs> the president just called. He wants you to pose for the newest face on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. We've just gotten word that Spielberg has asked you to star in every movie he makes from now on. No, 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 sorry. All I'm interested in is being with my darling daughter. Sabrina! Sabrina! Huh? I said I'll catch you later, okay? Oh, wow. We're at your house already? I've got to get home and get ready. My dad will be here any minute. Now that's you. You're right, Salem. I should keep everything just the same. Whenever Dad comes to visit, it's always just been him and me. And the me part of it hasn't ever worn a hat. Uh, Sabrina, nothing stays the same forever. What's up with this? It doesn't fit. And it's Dad's favorite. He gave it to me for my 10th birthday. My point exactly. <laughs> Hilda, as the elder sister, I should decide how we should decorate for Edward's visit. Oh, dear. I don't know about this. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> oh, Zelda, that is so like last century. <gasps> and that is so I love Lucy. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you, Salem. I'll get it! <laughs> Sabrina! Dad! Oh, I have a surprise for you, honey. This is Futura Hidebound. Huh? She's my fiance. We're getting married, Sabrina! Isn't that great news? <laughs> Sabrina, honey, don't you want to congratulate us? No, not really. Hello, oh, nice to see you. <gasps> I don't want her here. She's going to run everything for me. Caviar, please! Futura is a normal mortal. Go with something she might actually like, like nachos, maybe. 
Sabrina, we could use a little help with the snacks here. Why don't you take this to Futura? She said she'd like a diet soda. Do I look like a waitress? I am so not in the mood for this. Did you see the way Edward looks at Futura? He's definitely a warlock in love. Stop it! Just stop it! What's wrong, Sabrina? Futura, Futura, Futura! What about me? Ugh. What about the fact that she's horning in and ruining my time with Dad? I hate her! Sabrina, you don't even know her. Give her a chance. Once you get to know Futura, I'm sure you'll like her. After all, Edward loves her. Enough to marry her. And Edward has always had excellent taste. He used to. Futura and I met in her shop. She's in the antiques business. Ah, that explains what she saw in Edward. Here's your soda. Thank you, Sabrina. Sure. <gasps> this is where I always sit. Right here, right next to my dad. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh, you okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Let me, Let me help. Good. Ooh, that sounded just a little witchy. That's exactly how I feel right now. Now she'll blow up and blame me, and Dad will get rid of her that fast. <laughs> After that long flight, I had a little bit of jet lag, but I'm feeling more bubbly now. Right. Play it off like you're not totally furious. Trust me, dear. Green is not your best color. What made me fall in love with Edward? Well, Quigley, I suppose it was all the things we have in common. Yeah, like going to art museums and, and horseback riding. Horseback riding? Dad, that's something you and I do together. Well, honey, it's something Futura and I enjoy doing, too. Hey, I'm thinking it'd be fun for all three of us to do it together. I don't think so. Uh, nothing can be better than this. Being here with the two girls that I love the best. Well, you're ahead of me, Dad. I still only have one guy that I love the best. Got a minute? I just wanted to tell you how much I love you. Dad, am I still your best girl? After all, you have Futura now, and that's making you all fabulously happy and everything. What's making me fabulously happy is being here with all the people I love. If you ask me, things feel a little crowded right now. How about a walk with Futura and me before dinner? You two can get to know each other. Gee, Dan, it sounds like fun, but I have to run an errand. And I'll be back soon, okay? I need your advice on how to get rid of her, Harvey. Sabrina, I'm not exactly an expert on stepmothers. Besides, I can't talk now. I've got to finish doing these leaves before my dad gets home. Harvey? Telephone! Uh, coming, Mom! I'll be right back. Ah! Huh? What happened? You should have seen it. This incredible wind blew the leaves right into the bags. Wow. So what am I going to do about Futura? I can't stand her. She's total nothing. Bummer. Well, if you're going to be stuck with a stepmom, too bad you can't be stuck with one that's at least fun and cool. That's it. Harvey Kinkle, you're a genius. You just figured out how this whole Futura deal can work for me. <laughs> oh, get off me. Stop it. Oh, you big clod. Hilda. It's my bouillabaisse recipe. It's my bouillabaisse pot, and I say we need more crabs. Ah! <gasps> huh? What is going on? We're making bouillabaisse for Edward. It's an elegant seafood stew. Stop that lobster! Ah! I guess I'll just talk to Sam about it. 
out the plan for making future of the stepmother of my dreams. So that's how I figure I can stop Futura from ruining everything for me. I can make her into somebody I'll like and enjoy having with. And? And all I need is one teensy weensy teeny itty bitty spell. Right. Uh huh. Well, I'll need to think about whether or not this is something I can help you with. I'll keep you in catnip, squeaky toys, and tuna dip for a week. A month. Done. Name your spell. Well, my first choice would be something that would send her on a permanent vacation to Alaska. But. What do I look like? Spells unlimited? Go with something from the standard inventory, okay? In that case, I want to make future somebody I would like. Somebody cool, fun, you know, like me. And this is going to be something your father is going to like, right? Salem, this is about making this whole future thing work for me, okay? Fine. In that case, I have the perfect spell. I invented it myself. It's a killer. And the best part is, I receive a nice fat royalty every time it's used. <laughs> Look in this mirror and your face you'll see, but a carefree 12-year-old is what you'll actually be. Just get Futura to take a good look at herself in this thing and bang, she'll be your soulmate. She'll want to do all the same things I do? Cool, I'll get my dad and a new cool friend. Sabrina, come in. I was so hoping we would have a chance to chat. Right, great idea. I hope I wasn't too much of a surprise, but your father insisted. Hey, that's my middle name, Sabrina Surprise Me Spellman. You know, when I was just about your age, my father brought home a new stepmother, and I really hated the idea of having to share my dad with some strange woman. Oh, wow. Hey, cool mirror, huh? You know all about antiques, right? Take a look, see what you think. This is an exquisite piece. Quite old. French, I believe. Are you sure? Look some more. Get in there really close. So, Futura, who's your favorite band? The Boston Pops. Really? Your favorite actor? Cary Grant. He reminds me of your father. Sabrina, don't hurry off. Stay, let's talk. Sorry, I have an order of catnip I've got to cancel. Huh? <laughs> the mirror's a dud. That lame spell must be way past the expiration date. I'll have you know that spell made spell of the year eight years in a row during the 60s. Thanks for nothing. There you are, Sabrina. Honey, I have a surprise for you. I don't think I can stand any more surprises today. You and I are going out to dinner tonight. Really? <clears throat> really. It was Futura's idea. When we were taking our walk earlier, she said she thought we could use some quality dad and daughter time. Dad, this is exactly what I wanted. So, uh, where do you want to go? I know the absolute best place. Really funky and... Yoo-hoo! Hey, you guys, wait up! Whee! <laughs> Ta-da! Futura, why are you dressed like Sabrina? Go, Salem. Oh, wow, I am, like, so hungry. And I totally know what I want to eat. Chili dogs? Oh, my gosh, you are, like, completely psychic. <laughs> What should we do next? I know, bumper cars! Yes! But we've been on them three times already. I was hoping we could just go someplace for a quiet dinner and... Oh, Edward, don't be such a fuddy-duddy. Dibs on the green car!
fun! Futura, what's gotten into you? I feel like I'm out with a 12-year-old. And stop that jumping. You're acting like a lunatic. And you're acting like a total fossil. Hey, Sabrina! <gasps> Harvey, what are you doing here? Oh, Pi had a saltwater taffy emergency. Great! You can both meet my dad. Dad, I want you to meet... Oh, wow. Are you a <gasps> babe or what? Huh? Are you into bumper cars? I love bumper cars. Oh, we are so out of here. Dad, what's wrong? I don't understand what's happened. The woman I loved is, is gone, just like that. Oh, Sabrina, I feel like my heart's gonna break. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. No, honey, I'm sorry. I, I screwed up. I, I shouldn't have just sprung Futura on you like I did. I, I should have taken my time, thought things out. I'm gonna take a little walk and, and clear my head. Oh, Dad, this is all my fault. Sitting on a bench talking to yourself has been determined to be a possible indicator of the onset of premature weirdness, me amigo. Pi, I have screwed up big time. Expand. All I wanted was to have my dad to myself. I wanted it to be just me and my dad. Or if I couldn't have that, I wanted a stepmother who was cool so that I could. I, myself, and I. So we're talking about what? Not taking other people's feelings into consideration, maybe? How do you do that? Being out of it and really smart all at the same time? Futura, over here! I need to speak to you. I finally realized what you're doing. Huh? This silly teenager act. It's to get Sabrina to like you. I love you for trying so hard. But all you have to do is be yourself, honey. Eddie, you're such a goof. I am being myself. Cotton candy, yes! Huh? I've ruined my dad's life. What am I going to do? Later, Dad. Night, Futura. Gotta ask Sam something before he goes to sleep. You better be packing catnip and squeaky toys. A deal's a deal. Forget the deal. I want you to reverse the spell this minute. Now. No can do, mon petit fleur. Ah! My dad is about to lose someone he loves very much because all I could think about was me and what I wanted. Well, now I'm thinking about my dad and what he wants. And you're going to help me make him happy. Pronto. Sorry, Blondie. You'll just have to wait until the spell wears off, and that will take two or three days. Ugh. Two or three days? They could be so apart in three days. Then you'll just have to find a way to keep them together, won't you? Omelette sausages? Perfect. Hmm. Coffee? Juice? Muffin. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A romantic breakfast on the patio. That'll keep Dad and Futura together. <laughs> Dad? What are you doing up so early? I wanted to surprise you and Futura. Oh, that's sweet, honey, but unfortunately, Futura's gone. Gone? Where? I found this note on her door. It says, gone boarding. Whatever that means. Uh, honey, I don't think Future and I will be getting married after all. She's not the woman I fell in love with. She's changed. But, Dad, she'll change back. Two, three days max. I guarantee it. Oh? You haven't been up to any mischief, have you, my little half-witch of a daughter? Um, uh, Dad? Just don't give up on her, okay? Sabrina? Gotta go, Dad. Hey, everybody! Huh? Wow, they've got this awesome half pipe at the skateboard park. It is so fresh. <laughs> Later, gotta snag a shower. I'm waiting. Well, see, I was so busy thinking about what I wanted, which was to have you all to myself, that when you showed up with Futura, 
all I could think about was how to make the whole deal work for me. So then, I kind of put a spell on her. Dad? What? Say something. <sighs> You've behaved like a spoiled brat, Sabrina. I know, and I'm so sorry. I love you, Dad. I just want you to be happy. I really, really love you. And I really, really love you. Now just tell me one more thing. What exactly did you do to Futura? Well, I used this to... No! Welcome to our open house! Really, Sabrina? It's kind of fun. Harvey, it's totally humiliating, okay? Sabrina, where's your dad? Everybody is talking about him. <laughs> Bumper cars later, honey? Absolutely, Dad. Three more days till the spell wears off? Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Da -da -da -da. Love you.